meteorologist Noah Reed, sponsored by Jim Bass Cars and Trucks. Good evening, Concho Valley. A rather mild start. Temperature started out at 75 degrees this morning. We should be seeing temperatures starting out in the mid 60s, but we did rebound into about 97 in some areas, got into the upper 90s. That's well above the average high of 90 degrees for this time of year. Nice afternoon compared to what we have been seeing. A lot of cloud cover earlier today. And what you just saw in there was a brief shower that moved through. Not only Matt, this field for parts of San Angelo earlier this evening, a few rays of sunshine also peeking through the clouds. And this was sent in from Tyler out in Vancouver, Texas. Take a look at this video. Not only could you smell it tonight, you could also see it. A nice heavy downpour here in San Angelo from our own Athena Masson. Glad to see that across the Concho Valley. Desperately needing the rain. Thankfully, the rain chances remain in the forecast, not only for tomorrow, but all the way through the remainder of the work week. Here's what's going on across the Texas satellite and radar. And there's a look at that surface trough out towards the northwest. Meanwhile, we're tracking this weak upper level low, continuing to stay out towards southern parts of Texas, dragging that moisture northward. And that's what we like to see in terms of having a better potential to see those showers and thunderstorms. Right now, I'm seeing those showers that we had earlier this evening still trying to linger across the San Angelo region. We got some light rain taking place north of Highway uh, 190. And this is continuing for parts of Tom Green County and even southern parts of Coke County. We even got that stray shower in western. In Runnels County right now as we speak. That will all come to an end a little after midnight tonight, but as you wake up tomorrow, heading out to work and school, I think the best thing to do would bring that umbrella just to be on the safe side because we could be seeing stray showers and thunderstorms developing as we start to heat up early Wednesday morning, and they will become more scattered in nature by Wednesday afternoon. So if you're headed out to lunch, keep that umbrella with you right next to you as you make your way uh, to a, a nice place to eat. And then as we talk Wednesday evening, we could see the lingering showers just as we are seeing at this hour tonight. So forecasted rain totals as we go through all of Wednesday and early Thursday morning. I think most of us do pick up at least around a half an inch once again. Unfortunately, not everyone will see rain for the next 24 to 48 hours. However, if you do see rain, consider yourself lucky because we desperately need it, as I said before. Most of us are rain cooled mid 70s. We're seeing those lower 80s taking place out towards Coleman, 81 degrees in Ballinger at this hour, 76 in San Angelo, 75 out towards Merson, 76 degrees at this hour out towards Sterling City. Wind speeds are still pretty breezy tonight, 10 to 15 miles per hour. Winds are a little stronger out towards Ozona, 22 mile per hour. Winds, we're seeing those wind gusts still up to about 20 to 25 miles per hour through your overnight hours. The upper level weather pattern continues to track an upper level ridge of high pressure out towards the east. We continue to see this zonal flow aloft taking place. That will allow the potential for a few more disturbances to bring those upcoming rain chances for the next couple of days. The increased cloud cover keeps us in the low 90s for Wednesday and Thursday, right back into the mid 90s as early as Friday and into the weekend. Your forecast tonight mostly cloudy or lingering shower can't be ruled out before midnight. 71 degrees as we head into your early uh, Wednesday morning. 91 for Wednesday afternoon. Partly sunny, scattered showers and thunderstorms will begin as early as tomorrow morning, lasting throughout the afternoon and evening. And as we head into the seven day forecast, lower 90s, a 30% chance for scattered showers and thunderstorms Wednesday and Thursday, drying back out just in time for.